Today the Z Sisters spotlight the Marin Pickleball League with Teresa and Allison. Let's hear about their story. I'm Teresa Topel and Marin Pickleball League was a brainchild of both of us during the um, pandemic when we were kind of bored. We've known each other many years and played together tennis, pickleball, many things. So it's really fun for us to get together and support um, pickleball through Marin and all of its neighbors. And now we have this vast audience of people who come to play. I feel like I know everybody. I don't really know what they do or, or where they're from, but it's really fun to know so many people in our little county that we never would have known without pickleball. <laughs> yeah, we really, we worked together at um, a store before the pandemic and we were taking a walk and I said, I'm just so bored and Teresa had gotten another job, but she, she was the brainchild and came up with this idea because actually she had already been playing pickleball for a while. I have. Which was, none of my friends, by the way, would play with no. me six years ago. She <laughs> kept leaving after work so that she changed her clothes and I said, what is this? Pickleball. Pickleball. <laughs> and so that was two and a half years ago. And she said, come on, just try it. And so I was a little reluctant. <laughs> and so we, we just started this, what we thought would be a little league. And at that time, people needed something. It was the pandemic. People needed a sense of community without worrying about, you know, getting too close to each other. So that's what we created. And it has just grown exponentially. And we now have this wonderful pickleball community. In a nutshell, the league is where if you work, you have different hours, you're not able to really come to any of our round robins or have lessons. You can schedule it on your own. So we make rosters each month and monthly you sign up and you can be different divisions, different rosters. Um, same level, it's all by level, so it could be male, female, but it kind of allows people to just play on the weekends if they want or after work, which is great. But then we realized so many people really wanted a scheduled time and a scheduled can I play on Tuesday at four? Yes, you can. Every So then we created that. Yeah, our tournaments are something we just created and we basically, we keep it at level. And um, we decided instead of telling people to come with a partner, they so they wouldn't feel like, gosh, I don't have someone to play with. Everybody's coming solo and we pull a name out of a hat <laughs> and that's how you get paired up. And then we make sure every team plays each other we play on four courts, so every team plays seven games, and we just have people play. We time them 12 minutes, and they play and try to get as many points as they can. We keep track of their points, and at the end of the tournament, the team with the There's most the points is the winner, and Yan was our original <laughs> First champion winner. for our high-level <laughs> tournament. Allison, great. I'm curious, you said that you still play tennis. Yes. Tell me about that. I do. Uh, tennis is my, my first love, and so it does uh, translate onto the pickleball court, sometimes in a good way, sometimes in a bad way. <laughs> um, it, a tennis player's learning curve is very, very quick, but there is this whole soft game, this whole finesse game, this whole thinking game, <laughs> and that's where sometimes I get in trouble because I'm so used to just hitting the ball as hard as I can on the tennis court and sometimes I have trouble translating that onto the pickleball court. But it's just so fun. I find pickleball is much more um, relaxed, more filled with laughter. Um, you know, you, you, it, you just don't care. that You want to win, but when you're done, you're done. With tennis, you know, it just gets really serious and you kind of carry it with you for hours after if you don't. I win. do not, but <laughs> I, I do. play net and she plays back. So it's amazing how when you are a back person, pickleball has that uh, component. And then I'm a net person at tennis. So it helped me really translate higher at net. I mean, I have a feeling when I'm at net, I feel like it's a pickleball. And so I'm after every ball. But sometimes when I'm back, I'm like, oh, I just want to get up there faster. And then when you're back, you kind of work your way in. So at either side of tennis, I feel like you can make this work for you, which is nice. Yeah, yeah. and I will add that I do think pickleball has helped my tennis game. A lot of tennis players think they shouldn't play pickleball, that it might hurt their game. but. In reality, for me, because I, Teresa's right, I've all, I tend to stay back in my tennis game. Pickleball, you need to get up. Everything's happening up but in the front. But your back game in pickleball is too. And so yeah, now I'm coming in. I'm playing more um, net game in tennis. Not as much as I should, but it has helped. Pickleball has helped in that regard. 
for tennis. You have to try it. We have paddles. You can try it. We can let you use them and try it. I, we have never had anyone who's tried it not continue on to either round robin or the league or just say, call up and say, let's go play. So the nice thing is, is that we know you're not going to not like it. You're going to like it. <laughs> what, it what we've created reminds me of me with the gym. I don't ever go to the gym unless I have a class to go to. It puts some structure in it for me. It's the same thing for Pickle for what we created our league. I, you, you might not just create a game and go out and play. It's hard sometimes, yeah. you're busy, to just schedule something. But if you have a league, it puts some framework, it puts some structure in it. You pay and a little it, bit You for pay it. a little yeah. bit for it, and then you're actually going to go out and play, and it's yeah. friendly competition. And then same with our round robins. You know, maybe some people are not into the competitive part. They just want to come and show up and play and that's what our Ryan Robbins will do. And they're gonna meet a ton of fun people. And I mean, I can't tell you how many friendships know, we have created. Oh, it's crazy. Got Tam in the background. Yes, that's uh, beautiful. This is it. Right now because it has snow it's on it. It's snow on it. So Bravo. <laughs> okay, so Go, Marin. Thanks, Anne. Thank you so much, Anne.